محمد رسول ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله to begin all praises and glory be to allah alone we thank him and seek his help his guidance his pleasure and his forgiveness and we seek protection with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil ideas thought to whisper within ourselves and from the consequences of our evil actions and deeds for whom ever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides indeed this is a great gift that none can ever take away from us whoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his perfect justice and perfect wisdom leave that guidance none can ever offer that guidance we testify no one is worthy of our worship our devotion our love our obedience in an absolute sense but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partner the creator the planner the maintainer the sustainer the provider the guardian and the supreme king of heaven and earth and everything in them and everything between them and everything we know and everything we do not know we bear witness that the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam indeed in truth without any doubt his servant his prophet and his messenger whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent mercy to the world ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalted said O oh, you have believed fear Allah as he should be feared and do not die except as muslim in submission to him Inshallah today I prepare a topic in a way that is very important to understand the human being with the free will with the understanding of doing wrong and right so what the plan of allah to create a human being with the ability that he can choose either way the right or wrong but the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has an attribute which means if you make mistake there is a ability that allah is able to forgive you that's the whole idea that means the creation of allah is a human being especially in jinn in such a way they had the potential of doing wrong and then they have a ability to correct that wrong and then they have a ability to ask forgiveness for that wrong and that's the beauty of this creation because they're exercising the free will and understanding with the knowledge and wisdom and finding both ways of right and wrong and how if you continuously doing good things you will definitely will be enjoying the life because you have a right knowledge the right guidance but when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this free will he has the ability that you will tempt it you will be tested you will have a desire to do something wrong and then the bottom line is when you do something wrong you how do you fix it how you come back to allah that's the most important aspect and important attributes of allah which shows the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his intrinsic nature this as he is at-tawwab al-ghaffar al-ghafur al-afu these are the beautiful names and attributes of allah within the intrinsic nature of allah that means allah expect the believer if he does commit something wrong he should come back to him he should ask forgiveness he should ask repentance <clears throat> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he says to announce people when we make an announcement that's a big news you know allah say announce oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you have to announce people nabi uh, ibadi anni ana al-ghafuru rahim See what he says uh, announce my servant i am forgiving and merciful this is the announcement you know that everybody is supposed to know the announcement the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given this to tell the people that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself telling the human being that i am forgiving and merciful <clears throat> and other words in the surah uh, uh, bakra which is illa allazina tabu wasmahu wa bayyanahum fa ulaika atubu alayhim wa ana tawwabur rahim 
That's a beautiful thing again, except those who repent and reform and proclaim. Those I ex those I I will accept their repentance and I'm the acceptor of repentance and the merciful. Now the important thing is when a human being repent, then he must reform. He must correct. The idea is you will not enjoy if you have a broken thing, you will try to fix it. It's not gonna work. Okay. That's the human nature is that when you buy something new and sometimes you got damaged, you got accidented, you try to fix it. Same thing with the human being. Human being enjoy this life, but sometimes he makes a mistake. He goes the other way around and he internally damage himself, physically, internally, spiritually, intellectually, variety of ways he damage himself and other person too. But the remedy is the beautiful thing is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you repent and reform. Repent and reform. That makes you make a correction to whatever you have done wrong. And that's the beauty of things because Allah is at tawab and He is the one who accepts repentance again and again. Again and again. And their attributes is like al ghaffar Ghaffar means He accepts your sin. You, you accept your repentance or accept, He forgives again and again. And when we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use the attributes of Rahim, you know. Ghafoor, that means no matter how big sin is, how a small sin is, his mercy encompass, you know, or his rama or his forgiveness covers everything. And that's a very important attribute in the Quran. It repeated again and again with a variety of ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained that. Another one is in chapter 3, Illa uh, lazina tabu. First we read about Tawwabur Rahim. Now we have Ghafoor Rahim. Except those who repent afterwards and reform. Again, Allah uses the word reform because if you are broken, you need to fix yourself. Otherwise, you will not going to be working. You're going to be functional yourself. You know, you're going to be hurting yourself. So it's a beautiful thing to fix yourself and so that you can perform well again. You can enjoy life again. You can thank to Allah for all His blessing. So this is very important attributes of Allah to reflect on those. Repentance is available from God. There's another chapter with the four Surah Nisa. Uh, repentance is available from God for those who commit evil out of ignorance and then repent soon after. These the God will relent towards them and God is knowing and all wise. Again, another Surah Nisa again advises again a person makes the repentance and he should the, the ignorance, the evil, he commits evil out of ignorance, he should repent right away. You know, that's very important. Do not delay those things. Except another uh, Surah Nisa also talks about another verse, except those who repent and reform and hold fast to God and de dedicate their religion to God alone. These are the believers and God will give the believers the great reward. Now that's very important to understand that the, the couple of concepts here, repent and reform is already. Then you hold fast to Allah. That means you have to 100% reliance on Allah. You have to rely on and dedicate your their, their religion to God, dedicate to the deen, deen of Islam alone, not to go anywhere else. You stay on a straight path. And these are the believers. Allah said, these are the definition. These are the qualified people. They are the believer. And God will give the believer the great reward. Fudul Azim, you know. This is the amazing reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave, uh, kept for the believers. As for those, another in, in Surah, um, chapter 7, in Surah, in that Surah, there is a verse again. As for those who commit sins and repent afterwards and believe, your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful. And there, another verse in the chapter 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands, now is commands to believer. So be upright as you are commanded. So be upright as, along with those who repented. Okay? The people repented, you should also repent along with those who repented with you and do not transgress again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a guideline again. There is the alert here. There is the boundaries are here. So do not transgress those boundaries. And Allah is again, He says, He's forgiving and merciful. 
but towards those who do wrong in ignorance this is chapter 16 and verse 119 but towards those who do wrong in ignorance then repent afterwards and reform your lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful another again allah repeated so many verses in the quran in this way that the person should repent and reform not only just repent and they keep rep repenting and doing wrong but try work yourself correct your mistakes correct whatever you're doing wrong and reform yourself <clears throat> one of the one of the important words also say oh say oh my servant who have transgressed against themselves now those people who already transgress and they have they are committing sin and they cross all the boundaries Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says do not despair of the mercy of Allah for Allah forgives all sins and he is indeed the forgiver the clement so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the beautiful verse in that that do not despair the mercy of Allah although a lot of people say oh, where Allah gonna forgive me or not I've done so many sins so the doors of repentance are always open but when what is the limit when how long the door of repentance will repent uh, uh, open Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns in one of the words and that is in chapter 4 verse number 18 that's Surah Nisa but the repentance is not available Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us now the warning here repentance repentance is not available for those who commit evils until when that approaches one or one of them okay when that approaches sometimes you do all the sin and now you are in a dead bed you are you, you are not perform anything good now you know now you are trying your best to do simple thing you spend entire your life you know never the same thing now you reach the level that the death just approaches you maybe the few minutes maybe the couple of seconds okay but the people should always do not lose or hope must people should always try to repent a lot but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this is a very warning because that's why the important thing is we should be not delaying our repentance whatever we do if every day we make mistake we should always remember Allah and do istighfar and do all those repentance and, and consciously think about that and start correcting so Allah said the repentance is not available for those who commit evils until when that approaches one of them he says now I repent nor of those who die as a disbeliever but those who die as a disbeliever there's no repentance for them and we have prepared for them the painful torment so these are the the limits we understand that we should not delay our repentance we should continuously remind ourselves that we have to ask forgiveness from Allah repent to Allah because we are human beings we have a free will we have a temptation we have a desire we can go wrong you know and that's where the design is you know so adu allah yakfir lakum dhunubakum inna allah wa malaikatuhu yasalluna ala an-nabiyya ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima allah Now, in this part, it is very important. We're going to reflect on the creation of Adam. And Allah subhanahu wa uh, Allah's Apostle Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, in one of the hadith in Tirmidhi 2499, the reference, said that every son of Adam sinned. Every son of Adam sinned. The best of the sinners are those who repent. Now, somebody will say, what the best of the sinners? People sin. And the best of the sinner. Who could be qualified the best of the sinner? This is a very important thing to know. That means that Allah designed a human being with the ability that he could do right or wrong. Not the idea of other religion that Allah made some mistake or something and then he sent an only son and they fixed the problem. Because no. Allah knows his creation that he has a free will, he can do right and wrong. And this is a design creation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned here that the, the Prophet mentioned in this hadith that every son of Adam sinned. 
And the best of the sinner are those who repent. It's very important to understand the human creation. That don't worry about that. We are we are the creation. We can do wrong. You know? That don't worry about that. But the good thing is repent and reform. Allah's apostle sallam, Allah, uh, also said, Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his slave than any one of you is pleased with the finding his camel which he had lost in the desert. There's a famous hadith, long hadith. This is in Sahih Bukhari. But the person, if you lose some valuable thing and suddenly you find it, you're excited about that, you get happy. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get happy when the person repent to Allah. <clears throat> Prophet ﷺ also mentioned in Sahih Muslim, by him in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace by those people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah and he would have pardoned. That's again, so the design of creation has a free will to doing wrong. And then Allah has fixed it. If you return to Allah with repentance, and this is the beautiful thing to understanding the human nature. Because we are designed like that. We are designed like that. Allah said, if everybody will be doing, nobody is sinning, Allah will remove those people and bring those people who will sin. And then they will ask repentance, ask forgiveness. That's a very important concept to understand the humanity in this way. And sometimes the beauty of repentance and asking forgiveness is the most important thing in our life. You know? It's the continuously should be in our mind actually. Because we human beings enjoy because of this free will. We get temptation, we do something wrong and then we ignore repentance. That's, that's, not, that's not advisable. One more thing about the uh, the uh, hadith, uh, it's a, a hadith of Qudsi. O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done. And I shall not mind, O son of Adam, were your sin to reach the clouds of sky, and were you then ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you come to me, with the sin nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, that's the important thing, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it. So such a beautiful concept about the mercy of Allah. This shows everything in Islam is nothing more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most gracious, the most merciful, and He shows all over the Quran his understanding of how he deals with human beings with this mercy. Of which this only we need with some effort returning to Allah in this way and correct ourselves. So <clears throat> may the peace and the blessing of Allah be upon all the Prophet and Messenger starting from Adam alayhi salam, ending on the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, his family and all his companions. May Allah be pleased with the rightly guided Khalif, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, and all those who will follow them in righteousness till the day of judgment. Oh Allah, we thank you for the guidance of Islam, for the blessings of Islam, for the beauty of Islam. Oh Allah, accept our prayer, our ruku, suju, good deeds, pleasing to you. Oh Allah, raise us among the company of righteous believers, prophets, and messengers. Oh Allah, protect us among those you have protected. O oh Allah, restore our normal life in our masajid and our workplaces. O oh Allah, change our hearts into qalb al salim and change our soul into nafsul mutmainna before we meet you. Ameen. O oh Allah, you are the truth. Your promise is truth. Your speech is truth. And meeting is the truth. The paradise is truth. The hellfire is truth. And all the prophet and the prophets are the truth. And the hour is truth. Rabbana innana amanna faqfir lana dhanubana waqina azab al-nar And there is a one more dua we always do in, during the month of Ramadan also Allahumma inna ka afuwan tahubbul afwa faafa anni So Allahumma inna ka afuwan tahubbul afwa faafa anna When we're doing with all, all together inshaAllah That's the beautiful thing Allah loves to forgive You know Allah you are the forgiver and you love to forgive and so forgive us. Such a, such a beautiful dua actually. And it show 
shows the Allah you love to forgive. And that's the important thing in this dua. That's we always have to remember this dua. And this is the most beautiful dua. And it's very popular, very famous. And especially a lot of time people remind each other in the month of Ramadan. But we should be practicing every day. In the salat tanha and in fashay wal munkar. Wala zikru Allah al-akbar. Wallahu yalamu ma tasna. Akim al-salam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.